Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool split frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now you could call this like a split transition. Uh, it's definitely a pretty cool effect. It's kind of the reverse of a normal freeze frame. So you can see right here, the video plays right here, then it freezes, this cutout shows, and then you can see Devante Adams kind of zooms in. I've done a, I've done a very similar effect like this, uh, I think like two or three months ago, and I kind of want to redo it and kind of add a little bit um, to this effect. I believe the effect I did was actually just cut out the entire person, but in this, uh, this effect I kind of want to leave a little bit of the background so it's, it's basically the screen splits in half and then like I said before Devante Adams kind of zooms off the screen or flies off the screen whatever you, you know, want to call it so I want to go ahead and just go over how to create this effect so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the first clip right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back one frame now you're gonna go ahead and place a marker right there and don't you know move that marker at all now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down option and you're going to create a copy now you want to make sure that these line up the two markers markers line up. So if I enable or disable as you can see, they're the exact same frame. Now on that marker right here, all you want to do is hold down option F. All that's doing is creating a freeze frame. So let's go and delete this right here and then we'll go ahead and lift this from storyline and we're going to rename this um, freeze frame right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the duration to, so control D, one one three so you can see right here uh, one point one three that's how long the duration is set for now what I want to do is I'm going to take the clip right here the freeze frame and hover it right above where that marker is right here so if I go ahead and disable as you can see right here these are both the exact same um, clips right here you can see these clips are not the exact same clip but as you can see this clip and this uh, this frame and this frame are the exact same frame right there now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just take this clip and trim it to the marker right there so you can see right here it plays and then boom there you go and that freezes right there so I'll go ahead and kind of play it right here and show you kind of what the effect looks like the Devonta Adams is kind of running and then all of a sudden Boom, he freezes, and then on to um, the next clip. Now what I want to do next is use a draw mask. So I'm going to go ahead, head over to this freeze frame right here, go over to the effects panel right here, go down to mask, and just apply a draw mask. And I'll just do, you know, a, a rough selection um, just for the sake of the video. So just go ahead and just cut around Devontae Adams. Uh, definitely was difficult you know, to cut around his hair, but... It, it, it took a little bit of time and I kind of figured it out. Anyway, so as you can see right there, there you go. Now you could also have the draw mask on the other side, you know, whatever looks better for you. And I'm just going to invert the mask right there. So you can see right here, we go ahead and play it, uh, play the video right here. As you can see, boom, there you go. It kind of freezes up on screen. Now if you don't want to just like have a hard cut and you want to kind of fade, I'll go over how to do that in a second. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and just go over right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So place a marker right here, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And basically what I'm doing right here is the first 15 frames, uh, Devontae Adams is not going to move. And just everything is going to be frozen for the first 15 frames. And the next like 21, 22 frames, he's going to start to zoom off the screen. And of course, you know, you can adjust that to your liking. So what I just did right here was I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Placed a marker right here. And then what I did right here was I clicked on this clip right here, went over to um, fill opacity. I changed it to 0 right here. I keyframed the fill opacity. And then I went 10 frames forward. And I keyframed the fill opacity to 100%. So if I play the video right here, you'll see all of a sudden the fill opacity, as you can see right there, it kind of fades on. So it's a very you know, different effect. And it depends on what you want to do on this clip. Now I'm going to go right here. Go ahead and keyframe the position. I'm going to go ahead and keyframe the scale too. I'm going to go out to 50%. I'm going to go to the end of the clip right here. Go back one frame. Change the scale to 500% right there. 
Now I'm gonna go over here and all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to you know drag this out right here and drag this out until you know the angle you want. Every clip is gonna be different, so you're not gonna be able to do the exact same thing for every clip. Now what you wanna do too is you wanna make sure that you change, actually I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. So I'll go ahead and let it play right here and just watch when he's keyframe, watch with now where he goes. So as you can see right there, it fades on. As you can see, if you watch the keyframe right here, it's kind of like a weird loop right there. As you can see, instead of just going straight off, it kind of like loops off. So if you don't want that effect, you don't want it kind of like looping off, what you want to do is you want to go back here, and you want to go to here, this icon right here, you want to right click on it, and you want to click on linear. So you want to right click on it right here and click on linear, that way the keyframe's off kind of in like a straight line. So just in case you want to know how to do that, so as you can see right there, now let's go ahead and play and you'll probably be able to tell a difference with the keyframe, as you can see there you go, it just zooms off um, in a straight line, zoom off, just kind of keyframes off right there, zooms off right there, it's a really cool um, effect right there, and of course you know you can add um, some motion blur where the keyframe is, just to help you know make it look a little bit more realistic right there so let's go ahead and play it right here as you can see there we go obviously you know, it doesn't look as good uh, without motion blur but there you go he freezes the uh, other clip f fades on you can see he's playing right here or running right there freezes fades on the next clip and then he zooms off and it transitions into the next clip right here and then of course here it is kind of all finished as you see right here all this clip is is it's just a frozen frame of the last frame of the second clip right here it lasts for 1.13 uh, seconds right there and then all you have right here is uh, as you see right here a draw mask obviously to cut out the subject so as you can see right there there's a draw mask to cut out the subject from the beginning you're just keyframing the fill opacity to zero so you go one two three four five six seven eight 8, 9, 10. Now the fill opacity, now you can see everything, so it kind of fades on. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nothing happens. And then you key for the position the scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then it just zooms off the screen. So here's the position and the scale. And remember right there, you want to make sure that the keyframe is linear. That way he just kind of zooms off the screen. Uh, uh, just get it in like a straight line instead of kind of a looping effect. So that depends, you know, it depends on your personal look. As you can see right here, add some motion blur. There you go. That's how you create this really cool split um, uh, f frame effect, frame transition, um, whatever you want to call it right there. Uh, it's definitely a really cool um, effect. You know, uh, And maybe let, let, let's say his arm is kind of out here and the space in between his arm, you could zoom in right there. You could zoom in like, wherever you want. There's just different ways to do it. This is just one other variety um, than kind of the effect that I already made. But it's definitely really cool. You, you can kind of take it, use, use some of these different uh, tips and tricks Kind of create your own effect but this is just kind of like the basics of how to create it and then you can do the opposite you can actually have the effect kind of go backwards um right there go in reverse that's without a doubt you know one cool effect that depends on what you want to do but that's it that's the basics of this really cool um split frame effect right there pretty cool anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy this type of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace